Hey, it's Trey from TreyMiller.com, and I'm so happy today to be with my lovely wife, Marjorie. Marjorie, thanks. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> she loves the camera, by the way. But so we have this incredible recipe for breakfast, and uh, we've enjoyed having it for so long that we decided to share it with all of our uh, bloggers. So that's what we're going to do today. And it's basically like a German pancake, but um, our kids call it brown edges. When we ask them what they want for breakfast, they say brown edges. And you'll see why we call it brown edges when it comes out of the oven. Um, and the great thing is, this can be your recipe and you can name it whatever you want. But it's really easy. All you do is take two tablespoons of butter, you can use a little bit less, put it in a preheated oven, 425, and I'm just gonna let it brown up. So you just kinda have to watch it. I usually do it while the oven is preheating, um, and by the time the oven's preheated, it's browned, I take it out, and then I'm gonna put in the batter. So come on over here and I'll show you how to do the batter. So for the batter, you uh, basically do three eggs, which I'm whipping up now. The butter is in the oven uh, at 425, and uh, these are farm fresh eggs, by the way, from our chickens in the backyard, which I'll show you in a second. <laughs> What do we do next, honey? All right, half a cup of milk. Half a cup of milk. Now, is this whole milk, skim milk, 2%, two percent? It's whole milk. We use whole milk. Whole you milk. You can use whatever you want. Farm fresh eggs and whole milk. Organic, please. Organic, please. Okay. Okay. Half a cup of flour. Now, is this regular flour or is it wheat flour or gluten-free? Whatever free? flour you want to use. You can use gluten-free. I've used gluten-free when we were gluten-free. Okay. Um, Use whatever you want. Perfect. And just stir that up for me, huh? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so my butter's been in here a couple minutes. See how it's starting to brown. And we just pour the batter in. And stick it back in the oven for about seven to ten minutes. And you'll see when it cooks, the edges, around the edges, it's gonna start to come up. It's already cooking. But it doesn't take very long. So, so while that's in the oven, I just wanna tell you that it's always good to give credit where credit's due. And we were introduced uh, to this awesome recipe from our friends Justin and Tori Zimmerman, who have since moved on to Raleigh. And hey, Justin, hey, Tori, I really miss you. <laughs> All right, so I think it's about ready. See how the edges have come up and they're all browned? All right. So all you have to do instead of flipping pancakes all morning, put this in the oven, and then you just sprinkle it with powdered sugar and cut it up. Okay, so you just sprinkle so, it with powdered sugar. So the last ingredient is powdered sugar. Correct. Which I think sugar is the most important ingredient. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> You don't have to use the powdered sugar. And you can also put fresh berries in here, blueberries, raspberries, um, and... Snozberries? We don't really like cooked fruit, but yes, snozberries. Um, Bananas might be good. And then you just cut it up and serve it. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. Boy, that Cutco knife really does slice right through it so nice. I think that's the spreader, the Cutco knife spreader. <sighs> So thanks for tuning in today. Sorry. I just wanted to tell you that if you wanted to get an extra five entries into the iPad contest, reply to this email with your favorite breakfast recipe. That's a mouthful. And um, oh, get... please don't chew with your mouthful of food. Start over. That's not good. <laughs> Even at the Food Network? <laughs> yeah, no, you don't chew with your mouthful. I'm sure you're still rolling. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs>